everybody. Welcome back to another video from Jealous Lawn Care. Today is the end of January, so here in Chicago we still got snow on the ground or very cold weather, so obviously nothing's growing and I can't really shoot this outside, nothing really to see except uh, dormant grass. So I figured this would be a great time to show you all my lawn care programs. You know, I've been telling you guys in the past in my prior videos that I'll be publishing these videos this winter and let you know what my full lawn care program is that I use for my lawn and also that you know multiple different steps multiple different levels I should say so I got it all on my Excel spreadsheet so I hope you guys are all doing the same thing it's kind of like a you know book of record or whatever you want to call it so this way I can see my timestamps of when I did each step just so I don't miss things you know lawn care can be very confusing as far as you know it's very big on timing you have to get the timing just right you know that's why a lot of people they they go to chem or something like that because they don't want to worry about the timing they don't want to think about it you know they don't want to do something wrong but that's why i developed my own little timetable here so i'm gonna this video is going to be the basic video for lawn care all right it's the basic lawn care program i'm going to do another video later on the more advanced so this basic or easy or beginners, uh, I don't like to use the word beginners guide just because of the fact that, you know, this doesn't really have to be for beginners. Some people just don't have the time. And if you don't have the time to, you know, do all those extra steps like fertilizing and watering and doing all these other things or you don't have the money, you know, that shouldn't affect anything except, you know, it'll put you up in that next category. Um, so basically this is the basic or easy or beginners will say guide to my lawn care program all right so definitely a good thing to start out with whether you're just starting out or you don't have the time to do all the other steps these are definitely the most important steps to do to keep a nice green healthy lawn all right so first step you want to get to in early spring i like to do it early spring so this step gets me all excited for the spring season you know cutting the lawn and striping the lawns and doing everything which we all love to do so the first step is to dewinterize your lawnmower. And when I say dewinterize, hopefully you guys have already winterized it. Uh, if not, maybe you'll be doing some mixture of winterizing and dewinterizing. <laughs> so it's always a good thing to do. First step, you know, about you know a week, maybe two weeks before you are going to mow for the first time, is to start off your lawnmower just to make sure that it's actually running. You know, if you had any issues with starting or it running and running rough or something like that, and you couldn't diagnose it and YouTube videos, you know, I have a video out there that shows you how to how to fix your mower if it's not starting well or running rough, you know, pinning your carburetors, things like that. But in case you have to bring it into a place, you don't want to bring it in and then you're already with everybody else in the same boat. So you want to get a jump start ahead of time, you know, before people are thinking about it. So this way you start up your mower, make sure it runs smooth and clean, and then you'll be ahead of the game. You know, you don't want to run too much, just put a little bit of gas in there and you should be good to go and no, another thing you want to do with dewinterizing is you want to sharpen your mower blades again you could do this in the winter or you can do it in the spring i like to do with things in the spring this way you know it gets me all excited like i said before you know for that season that's coming um you know when you when you do these things in the winter it's not as fun because then it's it's kind of depressing you know you're you're putting it all away you're sharpening your blade you're all excited but then hey you're not going to be able to cut your grass for a while. You know, it's going to be, you know, what is it, four, five, six months until you cut your grass again. So the quick steps for dewinterizing are put some gas in your lawnmower, start it up, make sure it runs smoothly and everything. Also want to make sure that your air filter is cleaned out or replaced. Same thing with spark plug. Check your spark plug, make sure it doesn't need replacement. And also sharpen your blades. All right. Next thing we're going to do, now this is going to be spring, so whenever the frost is, there's not going to be any more frost on the ground, so basically we're talking, you know, at least 40, 40 45 degrees on average, so I know they say when the, uh, I think it's called the forsythia uh, tree or bush, whenever that blooms, you know, that's when uh, spring has begun, but so basically the best time of the year to do this is usually around April, early April for uh, us in the Midwest. So that's a good time to do it. Last year, I was there, I actually was checking my dates 
and last year was a, I actually started this in March, like March 20 or something like that. It was ridiculous. I mean, we had everything was so early last year. It was nice because we got to enjoy the grass that much longer for the year. So I doubt it's going to happen this year, you know, but never know. Every year is different. So, so second step is going to be I use a Scott's Weed and Feed. You know, it's a pre-emergent for weeds, and it's also does a fertilizer. It does a pretty good job. And um, you can do two applications a year and keep it as long as you keep 30 days between the apps. You know, or if you're doing a different kind of weed control, this is when you use your fertilizer, your first fertilizer, like melorganite. So, good time to do that. What I like to do with any time I do weed and feed or milo, I cut the grass two days before. This way it's nice and low so everything's getting deep down in there. You don't want real tall grass at the time and then all the stuff's not... It's going to take it's going to be harder for the fertilizer and everything to get down to the root system which is where you want it to be so one thing about the weed and feed product again if you use a different product check your bag as far as applications you know some like it to be, the grass to be wet some like it to be dry so one thing about this product is they want no rain within 24 to 48 hours after putting this application down so yes in springtime that's kind of hard so you're going to have to check the weather because it rains all the time. So we'll see if you can find that, that good window where you don't get any rain. So next step would be to mow the grass one to two settings, notches down lower than you did in the summertime. So like in the summertime, I like to keep my grass around three and a half inches, so which is pretty tall. Again, depending on different grass types, you know, fescue grass, you can, you know, cut all that to like four or four and a half or something crazy. You know, different types of grass, different lengths, but you know, my Kentucky bluegrass is what I have, and I like to cut that nice at three, in between three, three and a half. I prefer three and a half, especially in the summertime. You know, it provides so many benefits, but we won't get into that right now. So, I like to mow it. One of the other reasons I like to mow it lower, one to two settings in the springtime, is because I want to pick up all that dead grass and leaves and, you know, bag the clippings. And I know I'm always against bagging the clippings. But this way you just get a nice clean base for all the fertilizer and stuff that you're going to be putting down. All right, next step we're going to do. So we'll call it step number four. Step number four will be using Scott's Feed and Feed one more time. And this will be like middle of May-ish. All right, so same application as you did in step two. All right, as long as you wait, you know, 30 days or so. All right, and this will be the second pre-emergent for the weeds so these are the only things that are really going to cost money are these two weed and feed products in this basic lawn care program that i'm that i'm showing you here all right so it's nice and cheap pretty labor not intensive all right so definitely a good thing to, good thing to get started on if you're not doing it already so step five which is next is going to be early summer so right around the time it starts getting hot for the year this is when you want to take up your mower blade you know, one, two settings, I would say. And this will provide the shade for the root system because of the, if you cut your grass taller, you have more shade. And, it's, and it keeps the moisture in there better also because it's not drying out from the sun and the heat. So definitely a good thing to do. You know, cut it as high as you can as far as from a looks perspective. And then step six, this is already fall time. And now you would drop your mower blade back down one to two settings again. You'd be cutting it right around two, two and a half inches, so it's going to seem a lot lower. Stripes are not going to look as good, I know. So, you know, a lot of people don't even stripe in the, in the fall time or even maybe even the springtime because the grass is so low. That's one of the factors of striping is that the higher the grass is, the better the stripes will look because there's more sunlight to bounce off those blades of grass. So it's a little secret. Don't tell anybody. Then, early winter time, right around the time it starts frosting over and you're not going to have any more growth in the grass, then you want to winterize your lawnmower. And by winterizing it, then you'll see a lot of videos online. I'll have one, you know, pretty soon on winterizing lawnmowers also. Um, basically, for winterizing, all you're going to do is you're going to change your oil. Very important to change your oil every year. Change or clean your air filter. You can either clean it out with using like a shop vac or something, or you can just buy a new one. They're pretty cheap, a couple bucks. Um, then you can check also your spark plug and see if it needs replacement. Again, that's only a few bucks also, like three bucks I think it is. 
and what I like to do is to drain all the gas out. So just run it dry, basically. If you don't want to drain it, just run it, run it dry. That's the easiest way to do it. And then, um, or if you want to keep it full, some people like to keep it full. It's just personal preference. You know, I go according to what my lawnmower, you know, manufacturer tells me to do. So I look at the manual, it says run it dry. So I run it dry. You know, the other hand, you would use fuel stabilizer. If you want to keep it full, put the fuel stabilizer in there. That'll keep it good for all winter. And then be ready for spring. All right. And you can also sharpen your blade again at this time. So yes you're supposed to sharpen your blade i would say once a month but this is again this is the basic plan where you're only doing the minimal to keep it nice and green and so this should keep you above the looks of your neighbors but you're not like on a full out jealousy yet if you want to do the full out jealousy look then you'll go to my more advanced step where you're going to cure everything that could possibly basically happen to your lawn you know so that's that's going to be your difference in the steps. So again, there's going to be situations, maybe one year you don't want to, the other year you want to do the, you know, the easy route or the hard route. The more advanced, we'll say. All right, but again, there's nothing wrong with doing either route. Everybody's got different time, different financial commitments. Everybody's, everybody's in a different boat. So to each their own. So now that this basic lawn care program is done, I will be announcing my full program, the one I use on my lawn that I've had good success with, that I've tweaked and tweaked it seems like over the years to what works the best for me and my lawn. Obviously everybody's lawn is going to need something different, but you won't, I would recommend you start with a program, whether it be mine or someone else's, you know, start with one of these programs and then tweak, you know, year, year after year, hey, what worked, what didn't work, and unfortunately some things you're not going to be able to see immediate um, effects. So that's the problem with some of these. So it may take a year, like if you're using grub control, you don't see any of that this year. Anything you do with grubs, you're not going to see it this year. You're going to see the effect like in a year from now. So, you know, we'll get into that in my advanced video. So I don't want to confuse anybody here. So this is just the basics. All right, so stay tuned to my advanced. All right, and I'll talk to you soon.